What are we doing? We're going to Minnesota. Woo! Yay! Why are we going? Just to meet Demi. That's it. Still got tickets to the concert. Just meeting Demi. Yeah. We're true fans. <laughs> Her uh, twelve dollar meet and greet. On our way there for that. Yep. Today is Sunday. I don't know the date, but tomorrow's the meet and greet, so we're going to a hotel. We're gonna hang out at the mall. Someone's calling. We'll be back. So that was her mom calling because we got lost and we we're had no lost. idea where we're going. We're still lost. Of course we would be lost. Keep left on US 45 South toward I-894. See, I have no idea what she just said because I'm, I'm pretty lost. So, because people just had to get in an accident. People just don't know how to drive. In 3.2 miles, take exit 44 on 2 WI-190 so, and Capitol Drive. That's what happened. Back later when we find our way and we're not lost. Okay. Goodbye. There's a target. There's a target. My face when there's a target. In 6.9 miles. So we're not lost anymore. We don't think. Hopefully not. Not lost anymore. Only five more hours. And we'll be there. Yay! It's currently 10:14, 10:15. Just changed. We've been driving for two hours, and we're finally in where we're supposed to be going. And we'll arrive there at 3:54. It says. So let's hope that's right. Where are we? Menominee? Menominee. We're, <laughs> we're in Menominee, wherever that is. Menominee. We have about three hours left until we get to Minneapolis. And when we get to our hotel, we're gonna put our stuff with and we're gonna go to the Mall of America. Woo! And look around and pretend we can afford to buy things. Woo! So, uh, it's going pretty good. Yeah. So, we just made it to our hotel. We're officially in Minnesota. And at this, like, semi-sketchy hotel. I guess it's okay. We have a, um, a real appropriate view of uh, Taco Bell over there. That's pretty nice. And Menards. I'm excited. I just my pillow. How excited are you? Pretty excited. <laughs> How excited about this hotel are you? Not very excited. <laughs> <laughs> we have this cheap, uh, bed. Cheap. Yeah. Budget. Demi puts us on a budget, so we can't wow. afford anything. Regular dark roasted. Wow, that's pretty fancy. And we got some decaf dark roasted. <laughs> wow. So now I think we're gonna go to Mall of America. After and a five hour drive, we're yeah, just gonna get back into driving. the car and we're gonna drive to Mall of America because we're crazy people. <laughs> because um, we were gonna take the shuttle, but the shuttle comes back at seven and that's not enough time for us because we like just got here. So we're gonna um, try and brave the traffic. Hopefully it's not that bad. That's our update. And I keep putting it out of my mind that we're meeting Demi tomorrow because I just don't want to think about it because I teared up before thinking about it and I just, it's too much. I don't really believe it. I'm not going to believe it even Wee. tomorrow. And the, um, I think it's like KDWB, their like jingle ball is tomorrow. We don't have tickets, but we're going to try to win tickets at like their pre-party thing. So we'll see if that happens. I don't know. We probably won't win. But, um... Yeah, we'll update later. Is there anything you'd like to say? Whee! All right. How's your food? What'd you get? The... Looks like that. Penny Rosa, there you go. 
Penny Rosa from Noodles. I got macaroni and cheese. Pretty excited. We're at the mall. We're gonna. Oh yeah, we're gonna try and find out what bubble tea is. We don't know what that is. We're gonna see if we can figure it out. That's all. What's happening? They were just on the radio. Who? Cool. The girls. What girl? <laughs> Singing what? All I want for Christmas. And what happened when we heard it? I'm currently on the floor because I heard that and I dropped to the floor. The girls, their version of All I Want for Christmas, they, it was just on. It was just on. We're at Mall of America and it was just on. We can never escape them. And now people are staring at us so we're going to go. We just all got time. back from the mall. Well, actually, we're still at, still at the mall. We're in the car. My legs feel like they're dead. I feel like I'm dead. My I'm phone's die. dead. I can't walk. I'm tired. Um... Oh, I already talked about this, but Fifth Harmony song came on and I literally dropped to the ground, if you saw what that was about. Like, we thought it was Mariah Carey at first, and then we heard Camila and Dinah and Allie's voice, and we knew instantly who it was. So that was pretty fun. Now we're going to go back to our sketchy hotel and try not to die. Try to sit in the hot tub. Yeah. I look pretty homeless. <laughs> on a scale of one to Chicago Reflection Tour, how homeless? Pretty homeless. So like a, like a, a ten, like a or a one, like the the tour. <laughs> the tour. See, Andrea, she, uh, she bought thirty dollar light. She's crazy. Thirty four dollars. Oh, even better. For my room because I don't have anything to hang because on my bed. Because she wants to look nice for the holidays. I want my room to look nice in general. <laughs> so you spend thirty some dollars on lights to hang up on a wall. But they're cute and they're battery. Seven eight zero zero. I also bought a long sleeve crop top Me too. and some leggings. I bought a crop top. We got some good deals at Forever 21. We did. So we just found out the worst news of the year. Um, the meet and greet. The meet and greet that we drove five plus hours for from Milwaukee all the way here to Minneapolis has been canceled or postponed um, because of a funeral that Demi is going to. Um, they said that it'll be rescheduled. We don't know when. Um, Demi's still performing at the concert that we don't have tickets to. So that's great. Um, yeah, and it's just really disappointing. And now we don't even really know what to do. So, yeah. And it's like, we understand that she, um, has a funeral. And that things happen, and you want to be with your friends and your family. But when you're looking forward to something so much like this, and you actually put time and money into it, and it's gone just like that with no real explanation or any hint of a possible rescheduling date. It's just really disappointing. So, um. So I'm going to wet my feelings. Yeah. <laughs> and, um, we're still going to go and try and win tickets tomorrow. But with our luck with this, we probably won't win anything. And we'll just be sitting back here all day. Um, but yeah. We said that we're still going to try and make the best of this trip. Um, we're probably going to watch a movie. And I don't know. Do something. I still don't even know what to think about this whole experience. All the way here for nothing. So, could have went to school tomorrow. Could have went to work tomorrow. Could have made some money. And Tuesday. But um... Yeah, that's all. Well, 
We'll update later or tomorrow. That's or difficult. This is the Look at that nice waffle. Isn't that a nice waffle? Why are you so slow? I can't believe that how you get so dumb. Just constantly giving that kind of language. There's all these humiliating gestures. So I will see syrup that she's drinking. So today is the next day. And we're still mad. Still very upset. So you see my feelings away. It's going to be us for the rest of the day. So, we're still mad at Demi. At the situation. Yeah, not at Demi, but at what's going on. So, we're going to call the radio station and we're going to complain. We're going to beg for tickets. We're going to hope to God that they give them to us. Because we don't have money. Right, we're for you. Um, are you guys still giving away tickets at the the pre party today? Yes, and we also we, we also um we also be doing them on the twenties up until four twenty on the air too. Um, are people who live out of state eligible to win? They can get here in time, yeah. Okay, because we came all the way from Milwaukee. Um, for Demi's meet and greet, and then she canceled it, and we still don't have tickets to the show, so we're trying to figure out a way to make that work. Oh, you, you have a meet and greet, but you don't have tickets to the show? Yeah, we had a meet and greet with Demi, and then she Did canceled you win it. Through us? No, we didn't win it. We bought it. Um, she had oh. like a holiday meet and greet that she sold, which we bought, and oh. we still want to. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure how that would work out, but yeah, if you, uh, you can still win tickets at the pre party and on the air up until 4:20. Okay, um, what time does the pre-party start at? It starts at 3. Okay, thank you. You're welcome, have a good day. You too, bye. Bye. <laughs> He's probably talking to all his, like, co-workers right now. Like, these idiots came all the way from Milwaukee <laughs> for the meet and greet that wasn't even through us. Could be like, oh, I got some tickets for you. Here, have a ticket. So now we don't have to we'll just wait until three o'clock. We can try every hour. <laughs> I'm sweating. <laughs> God, I'm here. We better win. That's gotta be the line that you call when you try to win. I hope he doesn't put that on the radio. <laughs> you idiots. <laughs> so these idiots. Yeah, Demi. Broke my heart. He's like, oh, you had meet and greet, but you didn't have tickets to the show? No. That's what we said. We're crazy. <laughs> He's like, oh, yeah, I don't know how that works. I didn't ask you how it works. I just asked about tickets. <laughs> I need to do that. So, when we start calling, I'll be back. So we're about to try and call again. To win tickets, we're actually, uh, we're calling the radio station. The last time we called, Kayla was caller number six, and you're supposed to be calling number ten, so that was exciting. So we're gonna try and see if we can, uh, if we can win. Yeah. What are your thoughts? On if we're gonna win. <laughs> Let's have a prayer. Group prayer time. Did you put it in a ponytail after we found out meet and greet was canceled or before? Oh, I was gonna say because maybe you just didn't care anymore. Are you sad? Really sad? <laughs> okay. Hello. So, we're currently calling the radio station, and Kayla got through again and was caller number six again, and we started calling before he told us to call. So, now we're just going to call, like, a half hour before the time to call. My phone was ringing, and then my phone hung itself up, and now she's got, she's ringing over there on our hotel phone. And then she's trying to get through on her cell phone. 
So we'll uh, come back if something happens, which it probably won't because this is not working. Currently, Kayla's phone's ringing and my phone's ringing. Are we gonna get through? Probably not. And Kayla's still going on the hotel phone over there. So, hello. So we're about to leave to go to the Jingle Bash pre-party thingamajigger. Here's Kayla's outfit. My nose is watering. Got a nice <laughs> red sequin dress with some black leggings and some boots. Very nice. The star of the star part of the outfit. Some nice <laughs> lights. Red shirt. Black skirt, some lights. Pretty nice. Maybe. Maybe not. Probably not. <laughs> and, um, anyway. Yeah. These were gonna be our outfits that we were gonna wear to the meet and greet before it got canceled. So yeah, but we're gonna go to Taco Bell and then we're gonna go to the free party and we'll see what happens. That's all. Okay. Vomit on his way to Iron Bomb spaghetti, he's nervous, but I'm sorry, so he's coming ready to drop bombs. But he keeps on forgetting what he wrote down. The whole crowd goes so loud, he opens his mouth, but the words won't come out. He's choking now, everybody's choking now. The clock's run now, time's up, over blast. Now back to reality, oh, the ghost gravity, oh, the ghost gravity chokes. He's so mad, but he won't give up that as he know, he won't have what he knows. He's so back to these ropes, it don't matter, he's dope, he knows, stop, he's broke, he's so stag, he knows. When he goes back to his mobile home, that's him. A team lab again, y'all, they're so rapsy. Sing me big, everybody, sing him loud, like, oh.
What you wearing? School clothes. <laughs> For pajamas. Yep. It is um look at this mess. It is 12:47 a.m. We just got back from Jingle Ball to our hotel. Um Oh, I look real homeless. Yeah. So um Let's see. I don't really remember who the performers were. Where's your... My tag, I packed it. I don't know. I think I have one. Oh, mine's on the floor. Okay, so at the show was Becky G, Calvin Harris, Charlie Puth, Demi Lovato, DNC, Fall Out Boy, Haley Steinfeld, Nick Jonas, R City, Sean Mendes, Toblo, and Zed. And we saw all of them, and they were amazing. Demi was amazing, even though... Um, I cried. Tickets, yeah, um, we were not expecting to win tickets at all. Like we went to the pre-party thing, we entered every single um, contest possible to try and win tickets, and um, it, every time they would call somebody to win, it wasn't us. It wasn't really working out in our favor. Um, but at the very last minute, they were packing all the stuff away. We had found a guy who, Kayla was like, oh, he looks important, let's go talk to him. So we go over by him, and we told him that we had driven six hours from Milwaukee, we had come for Demi, she cancels her meet and greet because of um, the situation, and he was like, wow, really? Like, he was really surprised, and he was like, well, just look around here in, like, this little arena area, and he's like, look for mobs of people, and see if there's other people who are giving tickets away, because there might be. So we walk around, and he said if we didn't find any, to come back and talk to him. So we're looking around, there's nothing here, and um, a security guard, like five minutes later, comes up to us, and he's like, I'm going to have to ask you guys to start going to the exit. So we are like, well, wait, this guy told us to come talk to him about something, and he was like, okay, we'll hurry up, and then you have to leave. So we go over to him, and he was like, um, I didn't promise you anything, but hold on. And he goes and he talks to these girls who are working for like the Minnesota Virtual High School or the radio station, KDWB, for something. They had like the red shirts on. And um, he explained to them what was happening. And we heard them all talking about how like we came from Milwaukee or whatever. And um, it turns out that um, a pair of tickets that somebody had won, they had until 6.55 to pick them up. And they never came to pick them up. So the last pair of tickets he gave to us and that's what we ended up using um to see the show so yeah Kayla started like sobbing because at that point <laughs> we had thought we weren't seeing Demi we weren't seeing anyone we were coming back to our hotel just to cry so it was um pretty exciting that we actually got to go the show was really good um beautiful. we were Demi kind cried, cry. Demi cried Demi was like bawling it was really emotional um, she didn't sing the duet with a Fall Out Boy because she wasn't up to it, um, but, yeah, so, good show. Now, we have to leave, it's 12.50 a.m. right now, we have to leave by 3 a.m., so that gives us, like, two hours to sleep. Not even, so we'll see how like that works a hour, out. a hour. 20 minutes. Yeah, that'll be interesting, so, um... Yeah, alright, we'll uh, update when we're leaving. Goodbye.